know how, but I am. It is the night before my half marathon. Here's the packet pickup. I'm a little disappointed um, because of I've worked my legs a little too hard. I just got a call from what, a client of mine, and he wants me to help him shoot a wedding today. <laughs> all right, guys, yes, you're, all, you're all gonna turn to the side. I'm glad I shot the wedding, it was fun. Isn't he cute? <laughs> <laughs> my legs are actually getting sore because I've been working out for the marathon and I did not plan on doing this, but you know, it is what it is. So I'm gonna go home, rest up. I have about uh, 10 hours before the marathon and Game on, baby. All right, here it is. Now I'm gonna get my, my game on tomorrow. So who knows what'll happen. If I had another hand to record myself putting on this bib, it would make you laugh. Look how wrinkled it is right here. That's because it, I can't figure it out. I'm excited, I have a little nervousness to me. My dumb ass can't put on a bib, but it's my first time, so I'm gonna give myself an excuse. But man, that was an ordeal. It's crazy that I'm even attempting to do a half marathon. Just beyond interesting, I have no clue how I'm gonna do. But you know what, you're supposed to finish in three and a half hours. I'm gonna do my very best to finish in three and a half hours. I've walked 13 miles in a day before, but I've never walked 13 miles straight in a row. I don't know how my body's gonna hold up, but I will finish. I'm gonna finish no matter what. If I don't, I'll die trying. All right, well, I didn't plan on jogging at first, but I'm supposed to be in wave 10. But I went on wave one because there's no possible way I'll make the time limit. So wave one I am today. When I went in wave one and everybody was running, I'm like, you're like such an imposter if you don't start jogging. All right, mile one done, mother freakers. Miles down. I'm on my way now. The office to my last hotel job was right in there. Looked out at the ocean every day. Four miles down. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Stamina-wise, I'm doing fine. Energy-wise, I'm doing fine. Mile six. Nobody needs the full story, but both of my ankles need to be fused. I've officially hit the 10K point. I'm not supposed to be doing stuff like this, so if you take anything away from this video, forget the things you're not supposed to do and go do what you want to freaking do. All right, we're about at the halfway point now. Thank you. All right, Mary. Thank you. Try some of this stuff. We are at mile seven, mile eight. Legs and ankles are getting sore, but keep going. The main thing I'm trying to do is just not stop. Yeah. Hit me, hit me. All right, Woo! Thank you. Thank you. You're looking good too, brother. This royally sucks. Putting a hill on mile nine. Hit me again. Make it look easy. Oh, thank you. A little water never hurts. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. That's one of the pace vans back there. Moving people along get stuck behind that try to throw your your ass in there I'm pretty proud to come all the way up from the bottom there 
You gotta keep pushing yourself, my friends. Good job. Mile 10. I'm not out of breath, I'm not even tired. My main issue is my legs are really, really sore. They hurt. Mile 11, we're getting there. Sometimes in life, things are painful. And if you want it bad enough, you just have to work through it. There's no two ways around it. Work through your pain and reach your dreams. Mile 12. Well, if you look behind me, there's nobody. I think I'm legit last. <laughs> and you know what? Finishing last never felt so good. So much of this isn't about where everyone else is. It's about where you are. It's about improving your life from where you start. Be proud of your progress. Be proud of your growth. And never stop doing it. There's uh, 10,000 for the day so far. Last but not least, mile 13. There's the finish line. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, this is the end. Last but not least, baby. Crazy, right? I jog for the first time. I jog for <laughs> since my new hit. Thirty thousand steps. That's ridiculous. Never ever give up on your dreams. There you go. You're dancing on the table, so am I. As you can see, I'm here by myself. Life is about making changes, and if you're going to change your life, you have to change it for yourself. Nobody else can help you with your life to help you change what really needs to be changed inside. So do whatever you need to do to find what is broken inside of you and fix it. And if you can do that, you're gonna change your life and live the life that you've always wanted to live. I think it's funny, as soon as I finish, they're closing it down. But they waited for me. I love the experience. And I'm just promising you guys, go change your life. And that, my friends, is what I'm doing right now. If you had told me that I would do a half marathon a day after doing a wedding, even two or three months ago, I would have said, you're crazy. And here I am doing it. I No, I did it. I did it. I feel like I'm living better than I've ever lived in my whole life. One more bonus to coming and left. Everybody's left. So I should get out of the parking garage fast. Look for those small little miracles, my friends. Small little miracles in life. Put a smile on your face. No matter what it is, you can be a better you.